What's going on you guys? Sir? I'll come back at you again today. I hope you guys are having a great day. It is Monday, May 13th. We're halfway through the month of May. So I hope you guys are having a great month so far, hitting some goals, really enlightening yourself more, building yourself up more, doing those daily habits today that are going to get you where you want to go tomorrow. So we're back at you with another video. What I wanted to talk about today is do you believe in fate or you, do you believe that you create your own reality? And this is a question that when you first think about or hear about the law of attraction and you think about how your thoughts, feelings, and emotions are consistently creating your reality, you start to question it a little bit because when we're growing up, what we're taught is that everything in our life is predestined by God everything happens to us for a reason and we're brought up like that we're brought up and taught that everything that happens from the day you come on this planet to the day you leave this planet is already predestined for you and there's nothing outside of that so it's almost like you're this hamster on a hamster wheel just running and going through the motions to get to the end of the journey itself and I know I was like that when I first heard about Law of Attraction and how I created my own reality. And it really caused a lot of turmoil internally for me because the way I kind of thought about it was, am I being lied to right now? Or is the information I'm being presented not completely accurate? And so it took a lot of self-exploration and it took a lot of meditating, questioning my ego and questioning myself for me to understand that I do in fact create my own reality. And the best example I can give you if you're somebody who still kind of thinks that, you know, all of this stuff is predestined and it's already made out to go the way that it's gonna go, I want to challenge that a little bit. And I'm gonna give you some examples of that. The first one I'm gonna give you an example of is, have you ever thought about someone just sporadically throughout the day, maybe somebody you haven't talked to in a week, a month, a year, a couple of years, whatever the case may be, and then all of a sudden you get a phone call from that person, an email from that person, they add you on Facebook, they add you on Instagram, and it's like that person is drawn right back to you. And it's something that happens really, really quick, and it's, it, it's an aha moment when it happens, and this was one of the things that happened to me when I started to realize I created my own reality is I was thinking about these people and my phone would ring five minutes later and it was that person. And what that really is, is that you give it, that's you giving off your power and intention and being on the same wavelength with that person's vibrational energy and vibrational intention. And essentially what that does is while you're thinking about that person consciously or subconsciously, they're also thinking about you too. So either you make the move first and they were expecting that or thinking about you or you, vice versa. You were thinking about that person or they were thinking about you and they called you or you called them, whatever the case may be. You're on the same wavelength as them, okay? And that is an example of you creating your own reality is you thought about something and it happened. Again, it doesn't matter how long it takes to happen, it just happens. So that's the first thing. The next thing, is goals that you have or things that you think about or things that you dream about, okay? For some of us, when we're dreaming and we're, we have these vivid, vivid pictures of our life and what we want them to be, a lot of times what we start to notice is down the road, those things start to happen. Those visions of what we have actually happens. And the reason why that is, is because your subconscious mind is implanted with an image of what it is that you want. And that's not the same thing as it was a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, because every single day you're redefining what it is that you want with more clarity. And so what you'll start to see is you'll have a dream about something that it'll happen. And that's not a preconceived thing. That's not something that was given to you on a fate basis. That was something that culminated because of all of those life experiences before that. And it's conditioned your mind to say, hey, this is exactly what I want now. Now you're dreaming about it, you're thinking about it. And so those things are gonna start to happen too. And so one thing that I'm gonna challenge you to do moving forward is start creating things in your life. If you are somebody who wants to change your life and create a lot more positive people in your life, 
then what you need to do is you need to start thinking about those type of people, talking about those type of people being in your life, writing it down, meditating on it and visualizing it and seeing it. And what you're gonna start to notice is things are gonna start changing and your paradigm's gonna start changing in the direction of those things that you want. And that may be a small example. So if you're still kind of thinking to yourself, well, that still you know, kind of ties into fate, then I would say challenge yourself with something a lot bigger, something that from the standpoint of where you're at right now, there's no conceivable possible way you can get what it is that you really want. And the example I'll give you is maybe you want that uh, black Mercedes with the black leather interior, the 2019 that's $85,000, uh, or maybe you wanna go on a dream vacation to Bora Bora, but right now you have no money in your bank account, so I don't know how it's gonna happen. Or, you know, I'm, I'm always terrible with relationships, so I want the best possible, you know, relationship I can have. Something that's going to stretch your belief levels so much that when you get that thing, the only thought that comes into your head is, holy crap, I really do create my own reality. Because that's what happened to me. When I first started hearing about this, I was challenging it. How, how can it be that my thoughts, feelings, vibrations, dreams, all of this stuff and the things I'm thinking about and talking about on a day in day out basis, how is it that these things can shape my reality and make it what they are? And I started to challenge them. And so what I did was I wrote down a goal that was so big that at the time I was completely broke. I had no money, I wasn't working, I was on unemployment, making I think $500 a month, something like that. Very, very nominal, very poverty uh, driven. Um, and I wrote something down in my mirror that cost about $50,000. And that was more money than I had ever made in my entire life. And a year after I wrote that thing down, I was thinking about it every single day, that situation and opportunity presented itself for me to have that thing that I wanted. And so that's what I'm gonna challenge you to do moving forward. First and foremost, you need to question your ego because your ego, again, is a lump sum of things that you've thought, experiences, people you've hung around with, words you've used, all of that stuff. That is a culmination of your ego today. So if you're not where you wanna be, you're not the person who you wanna be, you're not hanging around the people you wanna be, you're not where you wanna be financially, you're not doing your dream job, I would say question your ego, that's first and foremost, because all of those things in the past that you think are real, are not real. The only time we have is right now. The past doesn't exist, nor does the future. So only what matters is right now. So question your ego, none of that BS in the past is even real anymore. So that's the first thing. Next thing, get a goal, a dream, and desire something that you want and something that you can believe in. That's very, very important. Don't write down a million dollars, I want a million dollars, if you don't believe you can have it. You wanna start with a goal that you know you can achieve and something that when you think about it, it feels good. So I want $5,000, I want $10,000, I want $15,000, I want $20,000 a month, whatever that number is, think about it, write it down, talk about it, experience it, feel it. The more you do that, the more you're gonna create that thing in your life because you're using not only your thought process, you're using your emotions, which of course, we're always consistently talking about law of attraction. Those emotions are gonna bring in the feelings of having that, which then in turn is gonna draw it closer to you and make those dreams even closer to manifesting themselves. And then thirdly, once that stuff starts to happen and you see what you've been asking for come into your reality, cement the belief even more that you create your reality. So even if you're starting with something small, I found a $5 on the, on the ground today, I'm so abundant, I'm so happy, I'm so grateful. Um, or you know, plug and play whatever you want, whatever scenario you want, but as those things start to happen on a day in day out basis, and you're starting to see evidence of what you're asking for, look at it, be thankful for it, and allow it to cement itself into you that you really do create your own reality because that's when life gets fun and that's when you start to realize that you truly can have, be, and do anything and everything you want. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really challenge you to question that ego. I really challenge you to go out and start dreaming more, talking more, writing down the things you want, going and visualizing them, going and sitting in the car, all of that stuff. And lastly, I hope on everything that your belief level that you create your own reality becomes more and more concrete in your subconscious mind because the more you do that, the more fun life's gonna be and the more you realize that you really can have me and do anything and everything you want. So again, thank you so much, guys. 
Your support just means so much to me. It's been excellent to have you supporting this uh, YouTube channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, and share this video with anybody who you think needs it. If there's anything you guys want me to touch on in the next couple of videos, make sure you drop it in the comments section below. Other than that, I love you guys. Let's have a great rest of May and an even better 2019. Peace.